Do you know how far away a light year is? Before answering this question, we must first know how fast the speed of light is. It is the fastest speed in the universe known to mankind, which can reach almost 300,000 kilometers per second. If the spacecraft could travel at the speed of light, it would take only 1.2 seconds to reach the moon from Earth. However, because the universe is so huge, even the speed of light is not enough to concretize some distant stars, such as the distance between the Milky Way and the Andromeda. As a result, scientists have created an entirely new unit of measurement, the light year, to describe large-scale distances in the universe. A light year refers to the distance that light travels in a vacuum for one year, which is about 9.46 trillion kilometers. Although there is only one word difference between light year and year, they are two completely different concepts. How terrifying is that light year distance? To give you a simple example, if we travel day and night on the current fastest means of transportation, the civil airliner, it will take at least 1.2 million years to fly the distance of one light year. For another example, in August 2018, the Parker probe, which was on a mission to study the sun, was launched from the Kennedy Space Center in the United States. During the subsequent flight, it continued to accelerate with the help of the sun's gravity and finally reached a speed of 200 kilometers per second and set a record for the fastest flying probe by human beings. However, even at this speed, it would take 1,500 years to fly a light year. And until today, with the Earth at the center, no human probe has flown a light year distance. In 1977, the Voyager 1 spacecraft was launched from the Cape Canaveral base in the United States and began a long journey of interstellar exploration. It is the farthest man-made probe yet, with a speed of 17 kilometers per second. However, now that 44 years have passed, he has only flown more than 20 billion kilometers. It would take about 18,000 years to travel the distance of one light year at this speed. It can be seen that the distance of one light year is really far away for humans, but one light year is not worth mentioning to the universe at all. Take Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the solar system, as an example. Even if humans travel at the speed of light, it also takes more than four years to sail and it will take at least 100,000 years to fly over the Milky Way above the solar system. This may be a dream that human beings cannot complete in their entire lives. Then, one day in the future, can we develop a superluminal spacecraft and successfully achieve interstellar travel? While this is only a human fantasy at the moment, there is a way of flight called curvature drive that may hold us hope. In 1994, the theoretical physicist Alcubierre proposed a speculative space-time mathematical model, which is widely known as the Alcubierre re-engine. When the spacecraft is equipped with this warp engine, which can shrink the space in front and expand the space in the back, it can distort the surrounding space and time at high speed, thereby creating a warp bubble, which can travel faster than the speed of light without violating the theory of relativity. But unfortunately, according to the analysis of quantum gravity theory, this kind of idea is difficult to realize, and it can only exist in imagination at present. But think about it from another angle. The universe is so big, even if human beings can travel faster than the speed of light, what will happen? Above the Milky Way, which has a diameter of 100,000 light years, there are the local group of galaxies, the Virgo supercluster and the huge Laniakea supercluster and then rise to the limit of the observable universe that humans can currently recognize. Its diameter has reached 93 billion light years. What is the concept? It would take 93 billion years to fly just to travel once. Speaking of which, do you still think the Earth is very big? Even the solar system we are in, and even the Milky Way above the solar system, maybe just a grain of sand in the universe, and we seem to be even more insignificant when reduced to every individual of human civilization. Therefore, in the short decades of life, everyone should clearly understand that happiness is the most important thing in life.